Okay, now we're going to look at the other two fish that we want to add to this composite, which we're calling Bill's triptych. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're, the other fish we want to use is Ono. And notice that uh, Ono, when we bring it up, if we go to our, um, we go to our layer palette, all there is is a background. So now we go to our channel palette and notice we did save the fish outline of the channel palette. So now when we hover over that icon, and I'm going to make these icons a little bigger. Let's see. There is a way to make those icons a little bigger for they're easier to see. And the way you can do that, it's, uh, i got to click around here just a little bit. I'm going to go to channels, and I want my icons to be bigger. Panel options. And we're going to say we want to do a bigger, bigger icon. And notice it gave us bigger icons in. So that where you get that from is this, when you open up your panel, click on this download, I mean this uh, icon here, which is this little uh, a list with an arrow next to it. Go to Panel Options, and under Panel Options, it gives us the choice of a larger thumbnail. Now, notice our when we hover over this thumbnail of the fish, it gives us the hand. Then we we if we hold down the Control key, it gives us a list. On a, it would be the alternate key in a PC. The option key doesn't do anything, and the command key, which is a control key on a Mac, on a PC, it's command on a Mac, control on a PC, it gives us a hand, and the marquee, dancing at marquee, the little square saying, yes, give me an outline of that. So that selected our outline of our Ono. Okay, now that we've selected the outline of that Ono, we can do a command shortcut, command C, or a control C on a PC, or we can come up here and go edit, copy. Make sure that we're on the layer of the background when you're copying, okay? If, you're, if you were on this layer, it would not select, it's saying I'm on the layers of the words. This layer is saying I'm on the layer of the kanji, and this one's saying I'm the layer of the signature, so make sure you're on the background layer. The selection is made, and you hit command C or control C, and then you can also do it from a drop-down menu, Edit, Copy. We then go to our Bill's Triptych, where we want to add this fish, and we're going to make sure that layer, that document is highlighted, and we're going to hit Command-V or Control-V to paste it, or Edit, Paste. Okay, now that it's on there and pasted, you want to go to your layer. I'm going to make these layers bigger. So I'm going to go down to Panel Options, say give me a bigger layer, a bigger thumbnail. And notice it gives me a bigger thumbnail of that. I'm then, notice this one, Layer 1, notice has this icon in the corner represents the Smart Layer. Now I'm going to go up to this layer. I'm going to hit um, Control-C on a Mac or Alt-C on a PC. And, it, and notice it brings up a list of options that you can do with that layer. I click on that and I say convert to smart object. Now that's a smart object. We're going to close the file that we grabbed our fish from, which was this Ono. We can close that file now. We can also close our selection of our Malolo because we're done with that selection. And then we're the other one we're going to add is going to be the Umilu. Okay, the Umilu, notice that on our layers, all we have is a background and a curve, okay? And we really want that curve to be applied to the background when we make the selection, because if the curve is turned off, the fish is flat. So if we only copy just the background, it would be flat. So you have to do a layer flatten image so that adjustment curve is applied to the fish, so when we copy it over, it will be available, okay? Then we're going to go to our channels, Okay, and notice there's a fish outline. When I hover over the thumbnail of the fish outline and I control on a Mac, it's control click, it gives me options and more things to do. 
on a PC it's alternate click but if I command click it or control click on a PC it gives me the selection notice it selected everything but the fish so now you have to go select inverse and make sure that it selected just the fish okay then we're going to go image um, edit copy or command C on a Mac or control C on a PC to copy it and then when you jump over to your composite where you want the fish to go we're going to go command D on a Mac or control V on a PC paste that fish in okay and that then if we're on our move tool okay on our move tool you can see we're selected on that fish you can also go to this layer 3 you can double click the word layer and type in the name of the fish, oh, Milo. Okay, layer two was the Ono. And layer three was the layer three was the Omilu. O M I L U. Oh, excuse me, that one was the Mololo, excuse me. Mo Lolo. So well, that makes it a little bit easier to find them. We also notice Ono and Mololo are made smart layers, but Amilu isn't. So we go to Amilu, we control click the layer, which gives me the icon of more options. Control click on a Mac, um, alternate click on a PC, click it and convert that to a smart object. Okay? We're also going to just double check, like our Amilu we flattened, and we want to save that adjustment layer, so when we close that, we're not going to save that one because we don't want to save it flattened. We'd like to have that adjustment layer available later for that particular fish if we need it. Then we're going to go back into our triptych. So we're going to go open our triptych, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my triptych, my triptych didn't have an adjustment layer on that fish. Okay, so notice when I open up my layers. All there is is the background layer and my shapes. So there was, I just wanted to make sure there wasn't an adjustment layer on that one because I hadn't flattened that one first. Okay. Okay, so now we have all three fish onto our, our background image. Okay, now we're going to go adjust these fish the way we want them to be. Okay, now, now most of the things are most of the adjustments, the movements, the transformation, the sizing is going to be done with a selection tool, which the shortcut key is V, or it's your it's your move tool. Excuse me, V. And notice when I hover over it, it actually shows the letter V representing the shortcut sh keyboard shortcut. Okay, okay. So then, if I have auto select on whatever fish I select on, it's going to move. Okay, and if you have trouble, you can turn that off and then just jump directly to one of your layers. Okay, the first thing that I see is our Ono needs to be smaller. So when once it's selected, once that layer is selected, if we hit Command T on our Mac or Control T on a PC, it gives us a transform tool. You also can get that from. We can also get that from edit trans see edit transform free transform okay okay so what we get when you shrink it when you make bigger or littler you do it from the corner points and you hold the shift key down I think you can just grab the middle too nope the middle will distort it so we don't want to distort it so command Z. So you grab a corner point, hold the shift, and it keeps it in proportion. Okay? Now this fish is going the wrong direction. So what we can do to that one is we can... There is a keyboard shortcut for it. And if you can't find the keyboard shortcut, you could also just use the transform tool. Let me see if I can find that here. Adjustment image rotation here we're going to actually but we want to do it just to the layer if you go to image image rotation uh, flip camera 
canvas horizontal, it's going to do the whole fish, the whole canvas. And we just want to do it to that particular image. And there is a keyboard shortcut kit for that, but let's see if I can find it here. I do not see that. So what you can do with that fish selected, hit Command T. And what I want you to notice is notice up here when we're in that mode, it tells us the pixel dimension, or the pixel placement of the image, the size of the image. And then here, here it lets you actually rotate it. And we're going to, this you could type in an exact rotation if you wanted to. Okay. The way you can flip it is you grab this side here and you flip it to the other side and then make sure it's the exact size vertical and horizontal are the exact size 41.02 41.02 and here we just go type it in minus 41.02 okay and then that keeps it the exact proportion and it's actually 0.02. Okay, so now what it did is I I flipped it horizontal and I did it with the transform tool. And I just made sure that these numbers stayed exactly the same. Okay? So now what you can do to each fish, if you have you selected your move tool, you can hit auto select you can click on any fish that you want to move. Okay? The change is size of the fish. You hit Command T or the object that you're working in, Command T, and you can make it smaller by grabbing in a corner and holding the shift down. Okay, if you don't hold the shift down, the thing distorts. We don't want it distorted. Okay, so let's say it is distorted. If you hold the shift key, it automatically brings it back to exact proportion. Okay, then we're going to apply that. You have to apply that by either hitting return or up here in the upper right corner, there's an apply tool. Okay, then we grab the Mololo, command T it, hold the shift key, size it, and then apply the transformation. Okay, when you're moving a fish, if you want to size it or rotate it, you do that by command T on a Mac or control T on a PC or edit free transform okay okay so now if we want to duplicate let's say we want more Ono select on the Ono of auto select is on make sure it's selected on the layer and all you do is hit command J or control J to duplicate that layer you can also do it from a drop-down menu you can say duplicate layer and notice it's going to give me a third Ono. Okay, so now I actually have three Onos here. One, two, three. Okay, now I want to this Ono, I want to tilt it. So all I hit is Command T, and then when you go, you're at the corner, it shows an angled line. If you can move away from the corner, it shows a curved line. When you're hitting a curved line, you can move this up or down any direction that you want. But what I want you to notice, what I want you to notice is when you move that curve line, that it it turns it based on this circle point right here. Okay? So that circle point, what you can do though, is you can move this circle point anywhere you want. So if you wanted to rotate that up and down, but you wanted to pivot from this bottom point, now it pivots from that bottom point. Okay, if you move this point over to this corner or to this tip of his nose. Now when I move it up or down, it's pivoting from the tip of his nose. By default, that circle comes in the very center of the fish. Okay, so we can actually select the image because auto select is on or select the layer, which one you want to move or change. Hit Command T or Control T. Rotate that 
Okay, apply it. You have to always apply a transform, otherwise you can't continue. Okay, then you go to your your next one. Okay, Command T. We can transform that. Apply it. Okay, then we can duplicate it by either going layer duplicate layer or by Command J or Control J means duplicate layer and notice it's another fish now and then we can go make that one a little smaller we can do remember the tool changes as you move farther away it gives you a curve tool which lets you change the angle to get closer it gives you a straight tool but hold the shift key when you're making it smaller okay then you got to apply that before you can go on common mistake is somebody doesn't apply it and they want to do something different you can't command J that one move that one where you want it command J that one move that one where you want it and remember on a PC it's control J okay then we're gonna grab we're gonna grab the uh, Omilu okay we're gonna command T at first we're gonna make this smaller bigger apply it before you go on command J it command J it okay and now notice this one is on top of this one and you can change that order by how you place your layers so your layer palette notice my Milu's on top okay one of the key, really nice ways to use when you're working on this is notice I'm in its own separate window. Okay, if you hit the letter F, it takes and makes it for it's on a complete background. And if you hit the command of the spacebar key, it turns to a hand, and you can move this anywhere that you want it off the page, on the page, anywhere you want it makes it a little bit easier so you can see your layers. Your layers you can shrink down a little bit so you have a little room. And now notice I'm on auto select. There's a fish, but I want that fish, I want that fish underneath the Amilu. So I, excuse me, I want the Amilu underneath the Malolo. So I just go click and see where that one is. Notice that one's there. Click on this one. Notice that one's in the top of the layer stack. If I grab the layer stack and move that down below, now it's behind that fish. Okay. You can change the order of how they stack in each other by how you change the order of the fish. Okay. So I think that gets you going pretty good. It's the key thing is is that you want to move an object, or change an object, or change a fish click on it with auto select chosen and move it to where you want it if you want to change angle and size command T it okay if you want it to pivot on the center just move it if you want it to pivot on the nose okay let's say the nose is right there in that fish and I want it to pivot right there by that fish but I want it to pivot on the nose just move the very center point you can move the center point anywhere you want and that center point is where the, that object will rotate from. Okay. Okay. Then once you've done that transformation, you have to apply it before you can move on to anything else. And you apply it by either on the on your upper information bar, you hit apply or hit return, and then you can move that to where you want it. Then you grab your next your next object. Okay. Notice that object's behind here. Okay, if you wanted it on top, you go change your layer order. So notice this, this Mololo is here in the layer stack. The Ono is here. So if you wanted that to be on top of the Ono, just move, change your layer stack. Now he's on top of the Ono. Okay? Here's your Amilu. Okay, Amilu. If you wanted another Amilu, you do it two ways. You either go Command J, means duplicate layer, or you can come up here to the layer palette and say duplicate layer, or you can actually go to your drop down menu and say layer, duplicate layer. Okay? The advantage of going to your drop down menu, layer, duplicate layer, is that you can also go name it a different name if you wanted to. 
Okay, so move that to where you want it. Okay, I want that one to turn, Command T to turn it. Turn it any way that you want it, okay? Then I, you can't do anything else. You can't move anything else. You can't change or transform anything else until you apply the transformation. Transformation means you're changing that, the quality of that object. You're either changing its shape, you're changing something about it. And so you hit a return or a, a check mark on this top bar to apply it. If I want more of those fish, I hit Command T. Move it. Excuse me. Command T is transform. I'm going to hit Command J. I'm going to duplicate it. Okay. Duplicate it. I want that one smaller. When I make it smaller, make sure it's a straight angled line. Hold Shift. And then Curve Line lets you turn it. Okay. Then you have to apply that before you move on. You know, like you said, oh, okay, that one's done. I want to move on to the other fish. Well, notice the tool is still the angle tool that moves it, even though you went to the other fish. So that's really important. You apply your transformation first. Then once the transformation is applied, you can go to your next one. If you want the whole image to fit on screen, the shortcut key is Control Zero and it actually lets you see the whole thing on screen. And what I'd recommend is as you're going along, every now and then hit a save, okay? And if you want to know where it's saved as and the name, go file save as, as soon as this is done saving, the letter F key, F key takes you to three, it toggles three different view modes. Okay, so this, this view mode here tells us the name of the file and it says what layer that we're working on. It says it's RGB and it's in 8-bit. Okay, so now we're going to hit File Save As and where this saved this as is Bill's Triptych Version 1 PSD and we have that. I think we should actually do a final and we'll go make a folder called um, Bill's Triptych. And this is version. Oh, this is Bill's triptych, and the size of this is. I'm going to put the size of it. Bill triptych, and its size is a 36 by 96. I'm going to go ahead and save my Bill's triptych there. Okay, so in review, in review, you can go to your layer palette, click on any one of your layers of any one of the fish. If auto select is off and you can move just that fish. So if auto select is off and you clicked click on that Ono, doesn't matter where you click on the image, you move that fish. Okay? Now if you have auto select on, whatever fish that you click on or object you click on, it's going to move that object. Okay? If you click on a different fish, it's going to select that. Notice as I click at each fish, notice the layers changes because I'm working on that layer. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save that and then I want you to give it a shot and let me know how it works. Thank you.